Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to make this thumbnail. Let's go. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today is going to be a quick tutorial on how I make my thumbnails for my uh, Valorant edits, but obviously this can be used for any other game that you um, make your edits for or just thumbnails in general, but this is a yeah, quick guide on how I make mine. Okay, so the first step is you're going to want to obviously open up Photoshop um, and then press the create new button and we want to have a canvas of 1280 by 720. Um, you can enter in the information over here or you can you might have it over here so I'm just going to press on that which will open up a blank canvas for me of the 720p resolution which is the recommended size for your YouTube thumbnails. So now that we have our canvas open in Photoshop um, I've deleted the background layer so I've got a nice transparent um, canvas to work with. Uh, in the description below you'll find a download link to uh, the assets I'm using for uh, this tutorial um, so you can either download that to follow along or use your own but I just got a background image that I'm going to use as the um, the, the, the background of the thumbnail. Uh, the other images that you need to import is um, a character image so I'm going to use the brand new uh, Valorant character Rainer for this one so I've got um, I literally just searched Google for um, the, ca the character's name followed by PNG and you can generally find um, sources on the on Google that allows you just to, uh, to download them. So I'm just going to bring that in as well and you can see that we now have Raina on the screen. I'm just going to move her down a little bit. Um, try and move her into a location that allows you to have some room for your text and whatnot. Um, I'm just going to put her there for the minute but obviously I can move her um, later on if needs be. Now that we have our two main images um, we can start work on the background. Um, I like to use a uh, radial blur effect um, and what I tend to do is have the background area behind where we've placed our character as basically as is and everything else around it blurred out. So the way in which we do that is uh, you want to select your background layer, right click it and click, uh, click on convert to smart object and then you would like you need to go to filter blur radial blur change the amount to 50 quality to best and the blur method to zoom you can move this around if you want to but for now i'm just gonna sort of place it down towards the bottom right hand side corner of the uh of the box so it sort of matches where our rainer is and you can see that it's created this zoom effect around the outside now the next thing you want to do is um, press on the little white canvas area next to the smart filter layer and then you're going to want to press on the gradient tool and then up the top here you want to select the radial gradient and make sure you've got your basic black to white selected. If you don't you can simply press the drop down arrow, click on the basics folder and it's the first one. And then literally from behind the character I'm just going to drag that out and you can see that zooms out so you can play around with that so you can get um, more or less zoom um, just have a play around with it and find what you think is best but um, I think that's good enough for the sake of this tutorial so I'll leave that there now you might notice that you can see your transparent background uh, transparent canvas behind uh, your background image now you can see these little um, grey and white boxes um, a way in which you can get rid of that is to simply just drag in um, another copy of that original background image and then just place it beneath the smart layer that we just created and you can see that that's sorted out any issues you have with the transparent background coming through. The next step is um, we want to create a new layer above our blurred background layer. So to do that simply click on the background layer um, you can either press the little plus symbol down here to create a new layer or you can go to layer new layer um, I'm going to name this gradient you can name it whatever you like but this is this is going to contain a, a colorizing gradient um, the next stage is to choose the gradient tool again and we're going to choose just the ordinary gradient this time um, 
and we you can cho choose any two colors you like really but I, I tend to pick colors from um the character we're using so all you want to do is press this little box down here press on the color here and then you can use this little dropper tool to choose colors um, from anything on the screen um, so the rainer here's got some nice pinks and purples so i think we're going to work with that um, so i'm going to choose that dark purple there and then for the second color i'm going to choose this other little box and then yet again press on the, uh, the little color section here and then we'll pick this nice bright pink press ok and then i'm simply going to drag by holding shift click and drag across horizontally across the screen and creates the gradient now all i'm going to do is go through the settings and find which one i think looks best for the sort of thumbnail look i'm going to go for um let's go through these quick so overlay is quite nice Vivid light. Let's go through this. Do, do, do. I'm going to simply go for overlay. Um, if you find that it's still too much, you can just drop the opacity of the layer down. Um, but I'm going to leave that 100% for this one. I like to keep my work area organized, so I'm just going to. Um, simply put these three layers into one one group um, or one folder whatever you like to call it um, you can select them all by uh, pressing on one of them and then holding control and pressing on the other two and then simply right click and uh, press group from layers and I can name it I'm just going to name it background and it just keeps it all organized in one little folder that you can still access if you want to edit anything Right, now we're going to start working on our character. The um, very first thing you want to do is duplicate your character PNG by right-clicking the layer and pressing duplicate layer. I'm going to label this one Rainer OG. Um, and then I'm going to double-click on the other layer so I can rename it. And I'm going to rename this one Rainer Large because we're about to resize her. Um, I'm going to hide the original layer select the larger layer and I'm going to press Control and T on my keyboard to get the transform options up and I'm just going to drag these arrows out which make her larger make sure you hold shift at the same time so it maintains the same ratio let's go a little bit larger than your original layer and then just press the tick up here and um, you'll see that we now got a larger version of our PNG I'm going to now um, move our original PNG about so she sits sort of sitting on top um, and basically the purpose of this is we're going to create a sort of shadow behind our character I'm going to hide that layer again and go back to the large layer and I'm going to um, blur her so we're going to go filter blur so we're going to want to go to filter blur Gaussian blur um, 50 pixels is a bit large. Let's reduce that down. Um, so this is something that you like the look of, but I sort of think five or six pixels is more than enough. Um, then I'm going to sharpen the layer. So filter, sharpen, sharpen. Um, and yet again, we're going to use this um, selection over here to sort of create that shadow look. Um, yeah again this is all down to personal opinion so choose one that you like the look of um, sort of like that darker look um, and then we're just going to re-enable our character and she's starting to look a lot better than her just being stuck there already now the next step is entirely optional but um, I'm just going to add a sharpen to the character as well to make her look a little clearer um, sometimes it doesn't always look better but um, in this instance for me I've, I feel like it does um, and that's basically it for what I do with um, the characters on my thumbnails so the next one I'm going to do is just select those two layers again by pressing the first one holding control and selecting the next and um, group the layers and just name it character
Okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, we're going to add our text. So um, we want to write our text in black at first um, to make sure your colors are black and white. Just press D on your keyboard and um, you should see them go black and white. Um, choose your text, your font you want to use, your size, etc. You can go bigger than 72. Um, you just type type it in up there, so I'll just get 100 point. Um, I'm going to put our main word, which for this is going to be thumbnail. And center that. I mean, I'm not be a little bit too big, so let's, let's make that a bit smaller. Um, let's go 90, it's a little bit better. Um, and I'm just going to set this layer to soft light. And then I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and press on this T here which selects the outline of the text, um, create a new layer, and then we're going to go to edit, stroke, um, select outside. I'm going to use a stroke width six, but you can change that. And I'm just going to press on this and change the color to white. You can just type in six Fs down the bottom here, which will set that to white, um, press OK. Um, so that gives us a nice outline for our text. And then the next stage is I'm just going to add our of the beginning of our sentence, let's say. So I'm just going to put um, how to make a, um, so then we've got how to make a thumbnail. Obviously this text is far too big, so I'm going to make this smaller than our thumbnail text. Um, let's see how that fits. This is just, you just need to play around with this. Um, I'm personally not the best at text in Photoshop, but um, I get by. So I'm um, literally going to group those all together into a text group, text. And uh, to make sure that it's centralized, you can see as I'm moving around, it snaps to different lines. That's the central one there. So I'm just gonna stick that there. And now we're on to the last step and I'm just going to add a simple border around the outside. Um, so literally you're going to make a new layer, press Control and A on your keyboard to select the entire canvas and then we're going to go to edit stroke. Um, I tend to set this to 15 pixels. Um, this time we need to make sure it's set on the inside. And then I'm going to set the layer to overlay. Um, you could leave it there, but the other thing I do is I grab the um, polygon lasso tool um, and I just select areas and delete them in just yeah just random locations just to add a little bit of something to the border so it's not just so plain i'm holding shift as well here so i can get um the same angle every time just delete that one name that border and there we go that we have we have a, a thumbnail made for a possible valorant edit um, now all you need to do is save it and to do that you just need to go to file, export, save for web legacy and then just press save, choose where you want to save it, entitle it thumbnail, press save and there we go, you'll have your thumbnail saved ready for upload to YouTube. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful, um, if you found it was helpful please uh, leave a like and a comment um, and also smash that subscribe button. Um, and keep an eye out for more tutorials in the future. Cheers for watching. Catch you on the next one.